everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a nostalgic trip down memory lane with a specific configuration of the 2019 15-inch MacBook Pro. This powerhouse boasts an 8 or 9 generation Intel Core i7 processor, a whopping 32GB of RAM, and a dedicated Radeon Pro 555H graphics card. Back in 2019, it was a content creator dream machine. But how does it fare in the ever evolving tech landscape of 2024? Is it still a worthy contender, or should you set your sign on a newer model with Apple a blessing M3 chips? We be dissecting this specific configuration, exploring its design, performance, features, and value proposition to help you decide if it's the right fit for your needs. Let's start with the look and feel. The 2019 15-inch MacBook Pro retains a classic Apple design aesthetic. The sleek aluminum chassis scream timeless elegance, and the beautiful Retina display delivers stunning visuals. The touch bar, a feature that has divided opinions, offers some customization options for quick access to frequently used functions. Build quality is top-notch. It feels incredibly sturdy and luxurious. The hallmarks of Apple products, however, keep in mind that portability might be a concern. This is not an ultralight laptop, and if you prioritize a machine for travel, you might want to consider newer, lighter options. The Core i7 processor in this configuration is no slouch. It can tackle demanding tasks like video editing, photo manipulation, 3D modeling, and even some like gaming. The 32GB of RAM is a game changer allowing you to run multiple professional applications simultaneously without a hitch. This makes it ideal for creative professionals who juggle several resource-intensive programs at once. The dedicated Radeon Pro 555H graphics card is a significant upgrade over the integrated graphics found in most MacBooks. It offers smoother performance for graphics intensive applications like video editing and allows for casual gaming on less demanding titles. However, it's important to consider advancement in chip technology since 2019. Apple's M1, M2, and M3 processor both superior performance and efficiency compared to the Intel chip in the model. Benchmarks show significant improvement in processing power, graphic capability, and battery life. If you require the absolute cutting-edge processing power for professional creative work, a newer MacBook Pro with M3 chips might be a better long-term investment. Thankfully, the keyboard on the 2019 15-inch MacBook Pro is a significant improvement over the controversial butterfly keyboard used in the previous generations. It offers a comfortable typing experience with good key travel and responsiveness. The industry-leading trackpad remains unmatched. It's spacious, smooth, and incredibly precise, making navigation and multi-touch gesture a breeze. For everyday tasks like browsing the web, checking emails, and working on documents, the 2019 15-inch MacBook Pro with this configuration performs admirably. Boot times are fast, application launch quickly, and multitasking feels smooth. However, users who rely heavily on battery life might find newer models with M3 chip to be more efficient, offering longer unplugged usage. The port selection on the 2019 models might feel limited compared to newer options with only four sustainable for ports connecting multiple peripheral simultaneously might require additional adapters or docking stations. The Retina display is just offering excellent color reproduction and clarity. However, some newer MacBook Pro models boast brighter display with even higher resolutions. Upgrade ability is a consideration for some users. While not 
not as extensive as older models. The 2019 models allows access to the RAM and storage for potential upgrade down the line. And here are the big questions. Who should consider this specific configuration of the 2019 15-inch MacBook Pro in 2024? Well, a video editor, while not ideal for the most complex projects, it can handle moderate video editing tasks with ease thanks to the powerful processor and dedicated graphic card. Another one for graphic designer, the processing power and dedicated graphic card are well. For content creator, you have the muscle to run demanding creative application and multitasking. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click subscribe to my channel to see more useful tech review. Bye bye.